Tinubu versus Obi, another billboard surfaces in Abuja over expectation of election petition judgment. Wow. We we saw a situation where there was a billboard uh, in Benin City at those states showing all eyes on judiciary. Now, uh, a sequel to that, another billboard had just appeared in Abuja still showing all eyes on judiciary. It means that, uh, <laughs> you know, the people are waiting to see what judiciary will make of this uh, presidential election petition tribunal judgment. Because even though some people are having mixed, mixed feelings, that the judiciary has been bought over by the present government and will not disperse justice uh, as required, some are still hopeful that judiciary will use the opportunity to redeem their image uh, this time around to prove that they are still uh, people can still have confidence in them. Okay. Now, uh, let's see the billboard that had appeared in Abuja again. Another billboard has surfaced in the heart of Abuja over the expectation of the judgment of the election petition tribunal uh, on the judgment between candidates of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, and presidential President Paula Ahmed Tinubu of the All Progressive Congress. Okay. So why is PDP not listed here? Because PDP is also part of that uh, tribunal proceedings. Okay, SOG Worldwide Online News published. The, the first billboard reportedly erected by the obedience and the recent uh, one was also erected by the supporters of OB based in diaspora caption or eyes on the election tribunal. Wow, this is a serious one. Another billboard stands tall in Abuja. This FCT people too, too stubborn. No wonder they not give up 25%. <laughs> Now, I'm not be, not be smart, you know. Okay. So, with what is happening now, I can see the one that appeared in Benin, they say it was uh, uh, erected by the obedience in Edo State. But the one in Abuja, they say that it was erected by supporters of Peter B that are based in diaspora. And it's captioned, all eyes on the election tribunal. So, what does this mean? It means that, you know, everybody followed the proceedings, the tribunal proceedings from beginning to the end of it. And we saw how uh, Peter B and Labour Party presented their exhibits. We saw how INEC, even after getting the subpoena from the court to issue some exhibits from the IRF portal and INEC database, they refused to give Peter B some of the documents. And even at the, end of, at the end of the day, they managed to release some of the evidences to Peter B which they also went to court to object against. They rejected the document that they generated. So we also saw how um, uh, uh, APC could not produce, Antinubu could not produce uh, uh, witnesses in court because nobody, apart from one person, one lawmaker that presented himself on behalf of Tinubu, APC could not produce any witness. Uh, Tinubu got, just got one lawyer, lawmaker that came to speak uh, for him. So at the end of the day, it was obvious that both INEC and the APC actually do not have any case to defend because they failed in all ramifications. We saw how uh, PDP and Labour Party excelled in their presentations, in their exhibits and in their case. And from all indications, Peter B actually had upper hand in that case ahead of, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, article in that uh, petition tribunal. So from all indications, it is obvious that Tinubu did not win election. It is also obvious that, uh, you know, the document that INEC have in their, has in their, uh, what do they call it, in their portal, actually are very, very unreliable and are not fit to be used to declare any winner. You can't use it to declare any winner at all. Because some of them, they saw a picture of goat, picture of chicken, a picture of fowl that were uploaded into RF portal. That was how bad it was. Some of them were not legible. You can't read anything on them, appearing blurred and cannot be deciphered. Those ones are the documents they uploaded. So how could you have used all of these uh, unreliable in documents to declare Tinubu as a winner? No wonder uh, uh, INEC went and declared Tinubu winner at 4 a.m. in the night. 
rather than doing it when everybody will see. This is actually a very, very terrible situation. So at the end of it all, it was obvious that INEC, uh, sorry, the tribunal cannot use that record to declare, to find any winner of the election. So they cannot cancel the election now, a uh, winning now, and they cannot use it to declare Peter V or Article winner because the document itself is not reliable and not uh, legible. Okay. And secondly, um, the only thing they can do is to declare a rerun in that election. And that is why APC is saying that, and Tinubu is saying that if a, a rerun is to be declared, that Peter B should not be part of that rerun. How can? It is not possible. Both Peter B, uh, Atiku, and uh, Tinubu, these three people will be part of that rerun. And then we will see again who will win that election. But we are saying that even in that rerun, uh, Mahmoud Yakubu should not be the person to conduct that election because he has proven to be unpatriotic, he has proven to be unreliable, he has proven to be fraudulent, he has been bought over by the current APC government, and so it's not fit to manage uh, such a federal institution that requires high level of integrity to manage. Uh, Mahmoud Yakubu does not have that integrity anymore. Okay, so based on this, a lot of people are saying, Judiciary, it is time for you to redeem your image, prove your word, let's see you do the right job for the first time. Okay, and so all eyes are on Judiciary, and exactly what the obedience and Labour Party supporters and even PDP supporters are saying is exactly what all Nigerians are saying. Because what Tinubu did was pure democratic coup in the daylight and at midnight. Now, there are a few comments here coming from a few individuals. Let's see what someone... Somebody said, delay game. How long shall they wait to announce the result? Excellent fake news that videos are surviving on Kai Imagine. This one is already uh, a suffering citizen that is happy with the suffering. <laughs> okay, someone said, you are the most senseless and foolish person in this entire Kai Imagine. They are just insulting themselves. Okay, Judiciary, they are your problem in Nigeria. I am so pained. What is happening to our judiciary is the highest person that pays is declared the winner. May God of heaven, the highest judge, judge every one of them who have sold their conscience to money. Not one true person up there to speak on behalf of the masses. It's quite unfortunate. This has nothing to do with political campaign of any party. Okay. Now, we make too much noise for this country. If I next chairman can be freely walking in the street till this moment, what you go make judiciary take your words serious? Nothing. Nothing. With what I next chairman has done, the, the, in fact, eh, the country should have shut down by now because what they have done is absolutely unacceptable. Eh? The Nigerian judiciary is currently on the march for redemption or destruction. Okay, Nigeria and pure judgment, I raise my, my hand up except God. Exactly. Judiciary is not to be trusted at all because they have never they have never proven themselves before. It's a case of the highest bidder. They have been bought over. Tinubu has taken time to put people in judiciary that will protect his interest and has paid them heavily and are struggling to redeem their head. It's quite unfortunate we're in this situation. Let's see the way it goes because I think it is gradually getting out of hand. He get where he go push go to reach go to go turn back and fight you're gonna say you go you go you go even wonder whether this one are good that is the level we're getting to in nigeria so thank you for listening and let's have your comment